Oh, hey people, so, um, <laughs> quick update video, um, this is gonna be my vlog for the day, um, YouTube got back a hold of me, and apparently they had watched the video before I took it down, and they told me that the video was exempt from the, pri the privacy complaint that because I was talking about a news story and not an individual person outside of the news, you know, not like, you know, hey, I'm my, you know, this dude Bob Smith is a total dick kind of a situation. This was, I was responding to news, so therefore... As it's a response to news, it's exempt from YouTube's rules about privacy. Um, I still want to talk to to Muhammad. Still would love to. You know him or any of his friends, friends or family that know anything about the situation and can talk um, with authority about it. I would love to hear it because I think there's always going to be and, and let me let me make this pretty pretty clear no matter what you do I'm speaking to you Mohammed no matter what you do no matter how many videos you try to flag no matter how many people you try to, you know, convince. You can't do it on the level you're doing it at. Going around and flagging somebody's video simply because you don't like the content it is chicken shit. If you didn't like what I had to say, you should have contacted me and said, hey, this video is still up about me. I would love to talk to you and try to see if I can get you to remove it. And the thing is, is that, dude, this is not the first time that somebody did that. Long time ago, back when the whole YouTube thing was just getting up and running, I had another channel where I went after people and after them and after their videos one dude in particular just ate at me and I kept pushing him in videos he kept trying to push my buttons yes this was over religion this was back in the YouTube days where these kind of debates happened all the time and I made a challenge to him and to another guy. And in his response to my challenge, he let loose that he was into having sex with animals. He may not have ever done it, but he let it loose that especially like sheep and things like that he has a sexual attraction to. So you don't, one of the things that people don't understand about me, I'm good at getting people to talk about who and what they really are. To be honest about who and what they really are. I decided I'm going to go after this guy. He was much younger. Wouldn't do it today. But, you know, it was back, you know, when I was much younger. And YouTube was, you know, still in the Wild West. Uh, it was way before Google bought them. Um, went after him. 
and I made fun of the, him, and I did a lot of said a lot of stupid shit, and that video went up with his name in the title, and next thing you know, he's gone, just pff, off of YouTube. come to find out that the video I did set him off and that made him his parents who he was living with keep in mind this guy was roughly the age I was it set him off so much that it had set, upset him so much that his parents had to take away his computer and his camera and access to the internet and just totally erased all of his accounts anywhere in on the internet. Deleted everything. They contacted me and asked me personally, could you please take down the video? Our child has issues blah 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 would you please my would you please I did with one caveat I said I'll do it but if I see him show back up on YouTube doing what he was doing before I'll be more than that I'm I will put that video back into circulation and they agreed truth be told I really don't know if he's around or not would I post it? Not today. But you know what? The one thing that he didn't do, which you or somebody representing you did, is come after me with a false claim. Fortunately, he didn't try to DMCA me. But you did try to flag me for inappropriate, content, uh, inappropriate uh, action on YouTube. I was responding to a news story about you. Now, if you want to clear things up, you want to make things a little better for yourself, get some truth out there, to counteract the, all those stories, do an update video that really goes into talking about what exactly happened and explaining it in a way that makes your side seem understandable yes we all know the judge dismissed the case you know what guess what doesn't matter the original stories are still out there and when people look you up are they going to look about the dismissal or are they going to look at the original story there's a third option tell your story I have a platform. I can record it. I can do an unedited version, just face cam time through like the Google Hangout. Talk it. If there's nothing to the story, then let's do that. Let's talk about that. Talk about how it became what it became from your side I don't know about her or her side I don't know about the supposed roommate I don't know any you know any of the detectives any of prosecutors I don't know anybody involved in this just what I have read please come find me so anyways to everybody else if you gotten this far in the video thank you I think I'm a little spent. So that's it for now. Be well and safe.